I'm in Birmingham in the West Midlands, the beloved black country. I love the people and food from this part of the world. And I'm here to meet an urban beekeeper who's fighting back with bees and honey. I'm gonna make the most delicious apple tart tartan that's gonna blow you away. Hey, Darren. Morning. How are you doing? Very well, Chef. How are you? Yeah, good. Nice to see you. Good. You and me needing one of those today? Holy cow. All right, let's go. So, Darren, how long have you been doing this? I've been beekeeping for six years in total, and I've been renting beehives for two years. What, you can rent a beehive? Yeah, I created the website Hives and Honey to get people more involved. And so how many hives have you got dotted around Birmingham? I've got around about 25 at the moment, which will double to 50 by the end of this season. Wow. And that must be brilliant because you're teaching the community and you're sharing the importance of having bees, right? Yeah, it's important to keep bees because they are dying out. So it's to increase, one, the population of the bees and two, to pollinate our food. And how many jars of honey will that deliver? Usually about 40, 50 jars of honey per hive. It must be so rewarding after all this hard work, handing a jar of your honey to friends and family. They know yeah. how much hard work I've been putting in yeah. throughout the year to get it to that point. It's really rewarding, especially when they actually really, really enjoy it as well. We do have some honey down here, which oh, you can amazing. try. So as you can see, wow. it's got a wax covering. Yes. So that tells me that honey is now ready for processing. There you go, just well, dip your finger straight in. That is so amazing to be able to do that. Good. Oh, wow, that is amazing. It's beautiful, isn't it's it? It's incredible. It's not like regular honey no. at all. And I get the wildflowers. Yeah, it's quite floral, this one. Oh, it's going to work so well with the apples. Darren, let me have this one, mate. You can take that one. That's on me. Good man. Enjoy. Oh, that honey, so good. I'm so excited to cook this dish for you. Darren's honey has got floral notes, yes, but it's got hints of melon and lychee, which is gonna work so well with the apples. So I'm starting with some all butter puff pastry, and I'm just gonna roll that out to the thickness of a pan coin. You just need to keep applying a little bit of flour every now and again to make sure that it doesn't stick to the surface. Now take your pan, place it down on your pastry, and then you're going to cut round, but you're going to leave about an inch of excess. Right, now it's time to core and peel the apples. Just slice it in half, cut through, and cut the core out. That's the apples done. This is a real cool little tip. If you take your apple and you just dip it in some caster sugar, what you get is a beautiful even covering. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put them into a medium hot pan and essentially brulee the outside of those apples. So what you're going to do is get a faint tickle of a sizzle going on in the pan. It's beginning to melt the sugar and create that caramelization. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slow that cooking process down with a couple of tablespoons of apple cider brandy. And now I'm gonna drop in there 60 grams of unsalted butter and let that naturally melt in there. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna add 150 grams of Darren's honey and we're gonna let that tickle away there for about eight minutes. I'm gonna put in there some vanilla pod. I'm gonna split it open, put the seeds in and then put the pod in as well. Get your pastry and then just introduce it to the top of the pan and let it drop in. Make sure that you tuck it in and you pat it down. And so we just need to go around and pinprick it. Okay, it's time to get it into the oven. I've set it at 180 on Circotherm and this is going to cook for 15 to 20 minutes. The moment of truth. Shall we see if all our hard work has paid off? So that pastry's all cooked and I can see it bubbling on the sides. Gonna put some grease proof on the top and then we're gonna take our chopping board and place that on the top and then we're gonna flip it. And now it's time to reveal. That is gonna be delicious. That creme brulee of the apples at the beginning is really delivered on this amber color. Darren's gonna love it. Let's take it out there and see what he thinks. 
Right, guys, here we go. Who wants a slice? Right, for the beekeeper, I think. Oh, wow. There you are, sir. Eye, so, Darren, what do you think? Mm. Yeah. That is unbelievable. That's incredible. It's that floral honey. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful.